What's happening everybody? We're back with another arena run and we are doing the weekly pack once again. And real quick guys, I want to thank you guys for the first milestone hit on the channel. Yesterday we hit 100 subscribers. So thank you everyone who subscribed as a king and queen, even though 99% of my audience is male. But that's okay, a little of a sausage fest, but hey, we're cooking in this video, so it fits. Hopefully maybe we can address this later as my channel goes further, but yeah, thank you so much for subscribing and watching my videos. Get our first win there, pretty good. And you know me, I love me the Bluebird in the beginning. I've been spamming Bluebird this weekly pack. And we get a Baboon, so. Baboon is a pretty good scaler, and I choose the Panda to scale with the Baboon. Even if it's just for a turn. Make, makes us uh, win the early rounds. And Splodaddy is not enough to beat us there. I think I combine the Beavers, or the Otters. And I grab another Bluebird. Baboon's gonna start buffing the Panda because it's our only tier 2. And we're doing pretty good. Pretty good. Um, we draw there, but we still have 5 hearts to play with. Got another Baboon, and I think I sell the fish here. So I get 2 gold back. Now we're working with 12 gold. Baboon is gonna start buffing the Capybara. So that's pretty nice. Capybara is going to make our shop better as we roll. Find another bluebird, so we're one bluebird away from a level 3. And this is a pretty crazy team that I got for you guys. But I'm not going to get ahead of myself. We take our first loss there, so that sucks. But we're doing alright. And we get a turtle, and I do believe I do play the turtle here because... Our bluebird is kind of strong, so it has 8 attacks, so might as well try to use the bluebird to our advantage. Even though I'm using the beaver behind the turtle there. But, pretty decent team heading into turn 7. And we're going to get a level here, and we get the cockatoo, the star of today's video. And the cockatoo is a pet well i don't play it just yet i play two orangutans because i just been spamming the synergy of bluebird and orangutan throughout but the cockatoo's ability is that it buffs pets that have faint abilities so turtle has a faint ability when it dies it gives a melon to the pet behind it um and we also are going to utilize rooster which also has a faint ability so right now I'm just looking for roosters, but I don't find any, so I just rolled that entire turn. But our team's pretty decent, our baboon is buffing our orangutan, orangutan is giving health, and then our bluebird's giving attack, so we're not in terrible shape here. That uh, hippo was almost an issue, but we managed to survive. And I think I leveled the orangutan here, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe I just hold on to it. I get the level 3 bluebird. I'm not really sure why I'm holding the chocolate. Should have probably just played it. And I get the rooster there finally. So as y'all can see, I'm, I'm just... I'm forcing the cockatoo because I want those level 3 achievements more than anything. I need those medals. This vulture is a little bit of a problem, and we take another loss there. But our team is coming together. I find another rooster. So the cockatoo buffs three faint pets. So now the team has three faint pets. I have two roosters and a turtle. And as y'all can see, the cockatoo buffs our faint pets. So that's pretty good. We get the orangutan level two. So now we got a little bit more health going on. Grab another rooster. Huge chocolate bar there, and I get another cockatoo, so the team is shaping up. All you really need is three faint pets to make the cockatoo work, and if you can level it fast and get some waffles, it's pretty nasty, I'm not going to lie, but this turkey and vulture combo absolutely wrecks us. 
but huge buff incoming here. I'm gonna get a level two cockatoo. It's gonna give plus four attack, plus two health to three of my dudes. And I get another cockatoo there. And I save a, a tomato to give to our turtle, I believe, next turn. But yeah. Snake with the onion is a little scary. And there's a, also a banana. But we are good. We are chilling. No need to worry about a thing. Give a tomato to our turtle and double cockatoo so we already got the level three and there's a waffle there so we are absolutely cooking and our orangutan is providing that extra health because cockatoo mostly is a attack buffer but get the level three cockatoo and now we just give it a waffle every time and what the waffle does is it triggers buy abilities again so pr before uh, waffles came out I wouldn't be able to use the cockatoo's level 3 ability more than once like you just you when you get it level 3 it's done you can't really use it but with the waffle you're able to activate that buy ability once again and with the new pteranodon that we added to the squad the turtle ability is actually going to activate twice and turtle recently got buffed where it will bypass the pet if it already has a melon so our rooster in the third slot, middle slot, is going to actually obtain the melon as well with the pteranodon. And because I have the pteranodon, I actually don't need to um, grab any more roosters or turtles. So you're all going to see I'm going to pass up other roosters. At level 1, it's already good enough. It has high attack. And if y'all don't know, the rooster summons a chick when it dies that has half the attack of what it, the rooster has with one health. So it's pretty good. Grab a waffle. Waffles are amazing. And I just skipped that rooster as y'all see. So our pets are almost at 50 attack. So good enough to trade with mostly everything. And yeah, even though that uh, boar had a melon, we just have too much attack. We're just too oppressive. We're too strong. And yeah, I'm just rolling for Pteranodons, I think, at this moment. Trying to get a level 3 Pteranodon if possible, but it's probably going to be way too late. We already have 8 wins. It's turn 16, so teams are going to be really nasty at this point. But not as nasty as us. Like, they can't even get to our second rooster for the most part. And I get the level 2 Pteranodon, so now the rooster on the second slot is going to activate again. And we are almost at 50 attack for all our faint pets. Our, t our uh, turtle got there, but not the rooster yet. And this team's actually nasty. We're going to actually take an L here. Very good team. Kudos to that dude. But we got another waffle. Our guys are all 50 attack plus. And to finish the job, I'm going to give the Pteranodon a tomato. And that is the team. The final team on the final turn. And we're going up against the overpowered pants. But we are too strong. And there it is guys. The level 3 cockatoo. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe. That's going to be it for me guys. Peace out.